Hello, I want to show you some of the retro computer stuff I have at the moment and the plans I have for the videos in 2024. First one is this. Restoring the Olivetti M10. This computer was released in 1983. It was my first computer. It was a gift from a cousin of mine that didn't use it and he gave it to me. I was 10 years old. Well, this computer was amazing at the time, but the target was mostly businessmen and journalists. So for a 10 year old, I couldn't do much in terms of playing games, but I learned how to program in basic. You can have your address book here. You can connect it to a modem. You can um, send articles and you can put batteries. You can take it anywhere you want. It was literally amazing at the time. I want to bring it back to its original glory. Next is this plotter, the Olivetti PL10. This was a plotter that was a perfect companion for that computer and it has a little pen there we have four of them four colors and you can draw any shapes you want at the time it felt like magic because it had a lot more resolution than any dot matrix uh, printer and you can draw anything very continuous line and even write text it was slow but it was amazing and currently it is broken it has an internal battery you can charge it and then take it anywhere you want together with it Olivetti M10 and print anything you want that's going to be another project to bring this back to life next is going to be this ZX Spectrum plus 128 kilobytes well this computer is a bit rare it was a friend of mine that gave it to me and it was distributed in Spain for the Spanish market I learned and uh, even the ROM inside in Spanish as well and everything it's the keys and everything and it's a little bit rare because I read that only 30,000 of these were manufactured and it was mostly commercially, I mean, only in the Spanish market. And then there was a UK version of this same machine, but it was first launched in Spain in the 80s. So I really want to fix it and clean it up, probably works, I don't know, and making a video about this. So a review is coming. Next is this laptop here. It is an NEC PC98 architecture. And as you can see, the screen is damaged. And the reason is because some of these computers have a filter in the screen that with time aged and decomposed somehow and then released this kind of uh, vinegar smell. And there is a way to fix it and remove it and replace it. It has Windows 95. This is the Japanese version of this computer. The keyboard is in Japanese. And I'm just going to restore this. I did some research and it's going to be another video about this, about how to repair this sort of situation. Just a small note here. Remember that with a very small contribution, you can support this channel through Patreon. And in return, you're going to have access, early access to these videos before they're published on YouTube. You have extra content, behind the scenes content, direct communication and supporting this channel basically allows me to keep making these videos and growing it. Thank you. Next is going to be about restoring this printer here. This is the Commodore MPS 803 and this is a dot matrix printer. I use it a lot to print school stuff, whatever. And I need to basically clean it up, restore, put the ink into the cartridge. And I'm going to review several text editor programs of the time for the Commodore 64 using this printer. Next is going to be this thing here. Well, I have a couple of joysticks and under them, this is the motherboard of the Magnavox Odyssey 2. This was my first video game console. And unfortunately, I only have the motherboard. It was working last time I tested several years ago. And well, I can't get the parts on eBay and replace what is missing here. I have just a joystick, some games and this motherboard, but I'm planning to build a full case of it and put another keyboard and just tinker with it, bring it back to its new glory, let's say. Next is this Atari here, 2600 and the low cost, the junior version. And I have a video restoring this console here. It was very dirty and well, you can see it is working again. And basically the plan is to mod these consoles to be able to use composite video. And speaking of which, I can't wait to test this thing here. Compumate, this is basically a keyboard and a computer that you can just plug into your Atari 2600. You can program in basic, you can create your programs in there. It's, it's literally amazing. I had no idea this thing existed. It's a very good friend of mine gave it to me. And I really can't wait to review and play with this thing. Still about Atari, I got this recorder 
410 this was released for the Atari 400 and 800 I never had that computer before it's pretty dirty I want to clean it up restore it see if it works I don't know how I'm gonna test it but also the plan I have with this is to tinker with this thing and see if I can maybe use it also as a playing audio or connect it to a Commodore 64 I don't know if that's possible but anyway I'm thinking planning to tinker with this unless I manage to get an Atari 400 800 uh, uh, and use it and I started this project some time ago as you can see this is the R2D2 I have a video about this toy uh, my plan is it's still a work in progress here it's going to be a very complex project the plan is to bring this to the 21st century basically I want to incorporate new uh, electronics inside and fix it and add some new functionalities to it restore it paint it basically bring it back to life but actually also improve it this is going to be a very complex project but stay tuned next this quick shot here nine I got it recently never had something like this I want to review it it's pretty funny pretty interesting kind of joystick I don't know if it, it, it's pretty cool next is this Commodore music maker basically is this keyboard that you put on top of your Commodore 64 unfortunately it's all broken and I'm planning to 3d print the missing parts and restore it and give it a go that is going to be another project the Viewmaster this thing here is just mechanical but it was very cool at the time you basically have these reels here in a cardboard with pictures and you can see them in 3d so it was very interesting at the time and I'm planning to restore this, clean it up and see if we can actually get the images that I can see through here in there in the camera. I don't know. Let's see. But it's a cool vintage tech of the time. Next is going to be the Stellstar Coleco. This is basically a pawn game uh, like a tennis. It was released in the mid uh, 70s. I use this too as a playing console together with the Odyssey 2 and that didn't play this that much as the other one it was very limited compared to the other consoles that started to be released in the 80s but it's very interesting I'm gonna clean it up restore it and have fun with it next a vintage pocket calculator this thing was from I think 70s something I remember in the early 80s at home this was going around the living room people were using it and it, I loved the screen because it illuminates and it's a very cool calculator I want to make a little video learning a bit more about the story about this calculator and the tech that was used and yeah it's gonna be an interesting project to restore it tons of Commodore 64 data sets well I need to check these units to see which one is actually one of them is working but the other ones if they are working or not I need to restore them some of them in a very very bad condition these are the original ones that I had when I was a kid which I didn't treat them that well as you can see and I also this is going to be part of a project where I want to back up the games that I still have into digital format into the computer so I don't have I don't lose them I have been researching this a little bit and trying it's quite difficult apparently because many of the software as well is quite old it's not an easy process but I want to learn how to do it and if you have any information about the restoring process of these tapes into a file let me know I will be very interested to know Finally, more about Commodore and Commodore and Commodore. This in particular is one that is broken here in the case and one key, I think the four here is missing um, a spring. So the plan with this, and this is a project, what I'm planning to do with this one is just to mod it as much as I can. I want to re repair the case, I want to paint it, I want to put like SD card reader, everything that is around that we can mod this thing to make it more powerful or actually access new things. I'm going to try and try to put as much of all that stuff that I can find online together into kind of one weird Borg looking Commodore 64. Next, I want to review the Amiga 500 Plus I have here and explain how to program it, how to use it. And also I want to replace this hard drive, external hard drive that it has into some solid state hard drive, something that makes it faster and less noisy and how to do that. And next, I want to review these guys here. These are all my games. I just kept them during the years and they are from many like magazines and games from friends and stuff. And there's tons of tapes here for the Commodore 64 mostly. And I want to restore these and put them into a file. And But meanwhile, at the same time, I want to play them. I would like to play them with you so we can review these games and see what is inside. Many of them are like, most of them are Italian versions of many of the games sold in America or in the UK and they have been translated, some with some changes. It's going to be an interesting project and yeah, it's a lot. It's all here. 
and I really need to find a way to back this up because I don't want to lose them after so many years they could get damaged. That's all for now, big plans for 2024. I have still more stuff in some of the boxes that will be interesting to review and to fix and restore, but I don't know if I'm gonna have the time. I'm gonna do my best. And with your support, I'm sure we can make it. Thanks for watching.